we have so far seen naming words first set or group of words you can say naming words you remember naming words or what are they called nouns nouns noun that is a naming word your name my name these names of the days of the week sunday monday tuesday month june july august and big buildings like taj mahal and all the sun moon stars sky tree flower all over the animals monkey everything the whole world is full of names so only names the world is packed with the names that means in grammatical terms we will say using a word in grammar we will say what will we say we will say that it is filled with nouns packed with nouns okay is that clear yes the second uh, set of words group of words we have seen adjectives adjectives what is an adjective you know yes adjectives they are describing words they describe the noun if you see a flower is a beautiful flower if you see a man you say handsome man muscular person muscular muscular muscles so that like for example wrestlers they are very muscular people you can say or you can say a shiny day or a sunny day rainy day so these are all describing describing words now we have the another very important group of words in grammar it's called action words action they describe actions humans always do actions no? isn't it you talk there is an action talking talking in the class it is not allowed but you do it <laughs> isn't it you are doing it so there is action words an action word jump for example so action words they are called the verbs verbs v e r b s verbs singular is verb verb okay verb or action words verbs now let us see some of these action words or what you call in grammar uh, you call it you call them what did i say verbs v e r b s that is plural singular is verb so you just think of like this jump j u m p jump so there's an action see you <coughs> this is jumping <coughs> action let me see that you can also do that no no yeah. other word you can see run run you know you are seeing no? same ball running like this running this is not action this is not action isn't it you know this navin boy the presents they those who are go for film sans on they know they know you know you know navin boy action action hero action hero are always standing like this isn't it you got another action hero there is a jewelry chemannu <laughs> chemannu maradana and bobi chemannu action this action all these words describing action they are verbs we are seeing verbs yes run run is an action walk walk see walk walking this is action movement your body is moving no? at least not the not the whole body some parts of the body will be moving so that is action see that is you have got shout shout shouting see shout loudly say what is that is shouting hey shout shouting shout or talk to the shout yes then you have got the another 
likes to be familiar with things you know already. Sing. Then the sun is running to my gift.
This is the third group of third group of words in grammar. Very very important word. You know. Without verbs you cannot do anything. You can you can say verb nouns you can look at. Okay. With the adjectives you can describe them. But what will you do with your day-to-day -day actions like this? You know, moving, dancing, singing, all that kind of stuff. Writing, reading, shouting, speaking, see? The friends, Romans, countrymen, lend me your ears. Mark Antony's speech begins like this in Julius Caesar. Like speeches, like speeches. Understand? Yes. So, what do you call this? They are words. Okay. Now, there is a very interesting word in English. Small, very small, but very important, very cute. And that is, it's a two letter word, only two letters. And these two letters are, one is B and the other is E. So, this is very small word. Probably one of the shortest words in English. Very small words. But you will find it everywhere. In, if you open a page like this, page of a book, and this you will find this 10 or 15 times. This, what is your now? You know, frequent means occurring again and again. Frequent. So it's a high frequency word. Very high frequency. High frequency. Frequency means, you know, happening again and again. Suppose every day you have headache, then it is frequency is very high. Every day. Once upon a time we have headaches. No, don't worry about it. Really, every day. Every day you have stomach trouble, stomach ache. Then it is high frequency every day. Suppose always you are talking in the class, high frequency. Because it happens, it happens very, very often. So high frequency. Now this word, very small, very small. B, E, B. Sometimes you will find it written in some books like this, to B. To be. Same. Be or to be. Same, same. Only thing is that here it stands alone, here it stands with the support of to theo. Or well, let us say be. Instead of making it things complicated, let us say it is be. Okay, be. Now, what is so peculiar, so Wonderful about this word, do you know? Oh, that's the thing. See, if I show you, this is a book. This is one shape or one form of this book. Shape. Shape, you know, no? shape. It's a shape or form, you can say. Either you can say shape or you can say form. One form. Form or shape. See, that's a shape or form. This is a book. This has one form. Is that it? Now I can change the form by holding it like this. See, the book has changed the form. Shape changed, you know. Before that it was like this. Now it is like this. See that? Change of shape. But the stuff is same. What is the stuff? The stuff is this book. Okay. Now I am going to do change the shape again. See. Now the change shape. Shape of the, this book is changed. Or form of this book is changed. Shape or form is same thing. So now how many shapes this book you saw? In how many shapes you saw this book? Three shapes. You can have more shapes. See, another shape. We can have another one, another shape. See, when I will be spoiling this book, which I don't want to, but then this half shape. But the stuff is the same. 
Understand? Exactly like this. This is the stuff. B. But it changes its form. Just as I told you. Or it changes its shape. What are the shapes it takes? It takes. See, sometimes I will tell you another thing. Another example. You are saying fancy dress now. Fancy dress. Okay. Now I put on an old man's uh, beard and all those things. I am a very young man, but suppose then what will happen is I will become old with a stick and I will be walking like this. Old. And if I put on a chujida eh, and a shawl and all that, then what will happen to me? I will become a girl with a wig. Understand? Or suppose I I put on the dress of a ghost, uh, the black, uh, the black, and the black dress, and with the two horns, a devil. <laughs> or better is it, think of me as an angel. I'm putting on the dress of a white dress with the wings, a smile, very beautiful. So, but I took three shapes. But what about this stuff? Stuff is the same, right? Exactly like that. You got the idea, I suppose. Shape and form. Shape or form means the same thing. Rube, they say rube. See in Sanskrit, they say rube. They say rube. The change of rube, change of shape. Understand? Now you can see, change of color, you know. Simply, change of color. Certain animals, they change their color. Uh, that so, but this is not a color change. This is the form, and their form is changing. But the stuff remains the same. For example, this, you will find in another one form. Ease. 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 This is the same thing but takes a different shape. You don't believe me? <laughs> and that is, see, look at this, I told you, no? Look at this. Now this is the same book but in a different form. Like that, or different shape, like that. This is B, but it takes the form of is. Is. Another form it takes is arm. Um. Arm. Um. Um, the um. And another form it takes. Um. Yeah. Don't say Ari, but this ah. Um. Ah. Um. Yes. Is. Um. 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 What are these? These are different forms of this small, beautiful. Word. So actually, B, B now has three forms or three shapes, we can say. Three forms or three shapes. See what are the forms? One form is is, then R, then R. See that? Now, what happens is that if all the three, so it goes back, goes back here, arm also goes back. Then what will happen? Then it will simply become B. That's all. That's all. See that? So when you change this shape, like the fancy dress I showed you, like the book I showed you shape or form, it takes three shapes or three forms. So the one form is is, other form is arm, other form is arm. Look at this. It can go back. All the three can go back. Then what will happen? All the three will be called by one name that is B. You get the idea? So if you, if somebody asks you, you know, suppose like this is very important, very very important point. You should know when you see when you see 
And suppose you see this word, is. What is the original form? What is the original form? Somebody saw it. What is its original form? Then you can say, it is B. B is the original form. So this is, B is taking a shape. In avatar, avatar. Avatar. Gods take different avatar, different shapes. Lord Krishna, for example, how many avatars? How many shapes? But it is only one Lord Krishna. But he takes different avatars. See that? So, like that, is an arm, another avatar, an arm, the third avatar. So the bee takes three avatars here. <laughs> How do you get that? The bee takes three different forms, symbol, or three shapes. But the point is, when somebody says, what is the origin of arm? From where does it come? Then you should say, it is a shape of B. I you find this? You find this. And then somebody is asking, from where, they, from where does it come? You say, the origin is B. Okay? Then again, Ah, AR. Somebody asks, from where does it come? They say, comes from here. Understood? So, three forms of B. B. Three forms of B. Which are they? Or three shapes of B. Three forms of B. Is, arm, how. So, you understand? How are they connected? Is is a form of B, R is a form of B, R is a form of B. Is that clear? Clear? No doubts? Very good. Excellent. Wonderful. If you have, if you have understood this idea of a verb, and that's a verb, it's not an action verb, but it is a verb. What kind of a verb is that? We will see later. Okay. Clear with you. Eh? Now, another thing about verbs. About uh, nouns use of plural, singular, singular, plural. Adjectives use of, they, are, they have degrees of comparison, like positive degree. Comparative degree and superlative degree. Superlative degree, yes. And you have got even you saw. What did you see? So, clever, clever, cleverest. You add something at the end. Then it changes its shape. It becomes what degree, uh, comparative degree, and then positive degree, like that change. So, here also, in this case, so this jump is an action. Jump. It's an action. Jump. Already, I once jumped and should, once I should. Two, three times. This is me. I'm sorry, I can show it. Jump. Now, you can change the ending by adding something. Remember nouns? What ending? S. Yes. I. Yes. V. Yes. So, different endings. Here also, Verbs. 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 Or you have got to, what is the other name? Action verbs. Action. Action verbs. Action verbs. Yes. So the ones are verb. The ones are verb. But verb. Verb. See that? Some people say, pronounce it, or read it like this. Verb. It's not verb, but then eh? verb. 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 See? Your mouth is spread, not round. Round will be. Where well, you can do war. When you, when you 
Uh, that we will see later. Okay. So we should say verb. Verb. Verbs. We can change. The verbs can take different forms. The verbs can take different shapes. As you saw, nouns take different shapes. Adjective takes different shapes. So to here, you add ing, ing to this. Then what will you say? How will you read it? Jumping. Jumping. See that? Jumping. Next. Run. Run as I said it. Walk. Walk. W A L K. Walk. ING. Walking. Walking. Shout. Shout. ING. Shouting. 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 Sing. ING. Singing. It's very easy. Suppose I ask you, put, putting, not putting, putting, run, running. There is a slight change, just like in plural and in adjective comparison. Run, when you say running, you don't, you say, suppose you write like this, you, cannot, you won't read it as running, but you will read it as a running, running. So, what you should do if you are making it running? Running is a strong thing, so you double this and plus ing. Just like we have got a, we have got a number degrees of comparison. We have got no dim dimma doubling. So sometimes you will have to do this, but it's a simple thing, isn't it? Like a put. If you write a ing like this, you will read it as a pudding, pudding. Is putting so double T. So if I say ask you to, so I will tell you, I will say the word and you should say after adding ing, how will you do? Okay, read, reading, very good, reading, reading, run, running, sing, singing, dance, dancing, so, dancing, dance, dancing. There's a dance, dance, there's a film, dance, dance. Listen, dance, dance. Rain, raining. Did you get it? Walk, walking. Sleep, sleeping. That's also an action, no? Sleep. Sleep. Sleeping. Eat, eating. It's only one T. Otherwise, it will be eating. So, eating. Understand? What are the uh, some other actions you always do? Read, reading, talk, talking, walk, walking. See, then what else? Quarrel, quarreling, double, double, quarreling. In some situations you have to double, you know, quarreling. Because quarreling is a very, very, very tough thing. <laughs> so you have to say quarreling, eh? quarreling. Otherwise, so it's a doubling in the name, quarreling. 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 Otherwise, you will read it as a quarreling. Quarreling. There is no life in that. Love. Loving. So that is another point that you have to do. Words, the last letter is E. When you add I, you can drop that. That's a concession you want to use. Say love, for example. Love. Plus ing. What will happen is, this is gone. So you can love him, love him. Same with mu, mu be plus ing, we have moving, moving. The b, the last two, e is dropped, delete. In our computer language we can say delete. Understand that? You got the point, delete. So when you do, when do you delete E, the letter E, when it is, when you add ING to it, right? Dance, dance, see that? Dancing, ING, dance. 
you can delete the final e the final or the last letter e you look at that but 90% of cases you keep the word as such in there's no change no change is required like this reading writing and drop and uh, closing uh, sorry open 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 we have to open opening simple not opening because it will be opening this is not opening this is opening open open singing dancing listen dancing now this ing form of the verb uh, the other uh, these are not the small small cute word it is also ing see but in this case it is a very special type of word in this case you have to keep the e you will write like this b in otherwise what will happen is it will look like bing 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 is a this is not a word in english so be being see that what is it being be being walk walking sit sitting wt s i t t a n other is it will be sitting see? if you say s i t i n g how will you read this you will read it as a sitting you are not sitting but you are sitting <laughs> so that will be one more thing so when you had ing already we have seen there are three possible variations isn't it what are those we have already seen 90% of verbs you just add ing and that will be like this stand you know standing ing okay then sing sing you have got b Being, being, be being. He doesn't change. He he is not deleted. But when you have word words ending in e, dance, move. Can you can you give one more word like this? Other uh, dance in e, e, and okay. s, dance. Love, dance, move, then uh, what is a uh, caving? I can say like that, but it's difficult now. Okay, remove, remove. Okay. In this case, what will happen? What do I tell you? You have to delete something. Delete. Which one? The last letter. Delete, delete, delete. And then you have got the loving. Okay, loving, dancing. Dancing, the moving, moving, removing. Look at it. So that's it. Dancing, loving. And the third group of words we saw. Verbs, verbs we saw. What is it? There were we really had double. They are short words. For example, sit. Sit. One more T. I am sitting. Sitting. Run. One more N. I am running. Sitting. Running. Then. What else you have got? Uh, uh, what is? Sitting. Running. Then. Double. Double. Cutting. Putting. Cut. C U T T I N G. Cutting. P U T T A N G T T A N G putting no. putting cutting putting sitting usually it happens with the T N some some words later on I will tell you why after this so time being you understand okay sitting running cutting okay. right so that okay now this I N G form of verbs I N G I N G form of verbs It has got a name. You know what's the name? That's again a word in grammar which you have to learn. There are some words you have to learn in grammar. So there, 
grammatical terms we say. Grammatical terms means terms or words used in grammar. Understand? Every branch of knowledge has got some words. Like that, this. I told you, I mean, suppose you are thinking about car, it has got many special words like accelerator, not usually used uh, in our day to day conversation. In our day to day usage, we don't use accelerator, <laughs> isn't it? Day to day is a tea, coffee, and all this. That's what it is. Eating, drinking, and drinking. Drink, yeah, drink, yeah. drinking, yes. Here you can say, singing, standing, drinking, drinking, you drink milk every day, no? or you drink coffee every day, drinking, yes. So what I was trying to tell you, is a grammatical thing. Grammatical. You know, remember I told you the grammar, G-R-A-M-M-A-T-I-C-A-L, grammatical terms, T-R-M-S. Terms means words, terms, grammatical terms. Terms used in grammar, so they are called grammatical terms. So what is the grammatical term? I did not tell you, no? Yes? Did I tell you? No. These, when you, when you add, or when you paste, <laughs> you can say, paste, what? Uh, ing to a verb. It is known by another beautiful name. It ends in simple. Simple, that's a good sound, no? You say? Present. Present. Participle. Participle. Present participle. Participle. So, what is this? This is the present participle of drink. This is the present participle of stand. This is the present participle of sing. This is the present participle of be. This is the present participle of love. This is the present participle of dance. This is the present participle of move. This is the present participle of remove. This is the present participle of sit. This is the present participle of run. This is the present participle of cut. This is the present participle of put. Are you there? No. So, okay. Huh? So now, so far we have seen, what, what, what have we seen? Three groups of words in grammar. They are very important. If you want to talk, open your mouth. In English, you should have knowledge of these words. Like first one is noun. You have seen noun. Second, you have seen nouns. Then second group, adjectives means describing words. And third one, verbs means action words. And we have seen a very small fellow here, that is B. And we saw it appears in three different forms. Is, um, are. And then also we saw verbs. We can make present participle by adding ing. Like, like, like. Plus ing liking. Liking. The e is deleted. Or you have got to sit. Plus ing sitting. You yeah, add one more. Like doubling, doubling. Otherwise, all the other words like stand, etc. You don't know doubling. This uh, ing. This ing form of verbs is called by a grammatical term. It's a word used in grammar only. The word used in grammar is grammatical term. So that is we call what do you call? Present participle. Present you know, you get present. Birth the present you get. Same thing, same word, present. Present. P-R-E-S-E-N-T, -E -E present. Present, one more word you have to add, that is participle. Participle. It is very nice to listen to this word, when you hear 
participle, simple participle, see, like a participle. So how do you make the present participle of a verb? They say I'll hand into that. Okay. So far so good, very fine. We should uh, make, take a list of verbs and then make their present participles. Let us say, uh, not too many, we'll take just uh, 50, that's too much. 40, that's too long. 30, that's also too long. 20, You are not happy? Ten? Okay. Are you happy? Yes, please. So be, you remain happy and gay always and come back tomorrow again as I always say with added energy. Till then, bye.